what up how's life i'm kai visionary and today i'm going to meet up i got a cosplay meetup to go to before and then after that i'm going to be going to oh i'm right now great um then i'm going to be going to an lsy meetup and i ran into one of my friends on this train which is weird <laughs> so uh, i met her like back in college and it was weird that we had this coincidental meetup like, I was just going to my boyfriend's house. <laughs> and I was like, what are you doing here? So yay, fun little coincidences description. So awkward. Don't worry, I'm an awkward ass bitch. I'm an artist, I'm, I'm just forever awkward. <laughs> awkward artist. <laughs> such art, such awkwardness. Oh. Hey! <laughs> Say hi! No one here! Hello! Oh, no, I'm with my bike and I still got it. Oh, 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 well, you're oh, here. Oh, you're so good! Wow. <laughs> Sorry, I like good! Hi! Oh, tell them who you are! Yeah, I'm so happy! <laughs> tell them who you are! We're I'm Katie, I'm the host! <laughs> Okay. I'm awesome! <laughs> Trust me, she is. She does some awesome cosplay. <laughs> yeah, we're yeah, right right Um, hello! Oh my goodness, I want this camera. I might just like run off with it. So, oh, too bad. I just wanted to look at myself because just like. Yeah, and you can look at her as well. Do you want to do the MySpace angle? God, no. So, hey guys, so, um, recorded kind of bits of it, it was fun, um, hopefully gonna come back to this meetup, but right now I'm on my way to the LSY meetup, which is happening at the collective, so that's gonna be really cool, um, hopefully meet some new YouTubers, and I may not stay the entire time, I may leave a bit more earlier to come back here, but really looking forward to it. Currently on my way to the LSY meetup at the collective. Managed to get here, didn't take really that long. You've got to be careful if you put them because I know, like, once I've got I just haven't monetized them just because I know that it's okay for them to be up because they like them up, but yeah. they just don't want them. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think as far as the advertiser friendly, if any of you do have anything that does get demonetized youtube's having a large problem with that we know that um just make sure that you appeal it if it is something that you think is supposed to be monetized um obviously if it's something like a react yeah, video or a music video and you're aware of why it's being not demonetized um something like that that's kind of gray area that is educational and it's kind of that. i mean again it, it kind of if it's something that's in that gray area that you're like somebody needs to actually look at this is it the youtube algorithm that's seen keywords and maybe that's why it's been placed there um does it actually belong um be aware that you like 100 percent it does not hurt you or hurt your channel to appeal it and have somebody because an actual person at youtube will then watch the video and determine whether it is and, and at that point they will actually tell you so they'll send you an email and say like this is exactly why it's supposed to be demonetized and so that way you have it for the future. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of curious for you guys because you as well do covers of songs or react things. Um, as you're growing your channel, um, have you found that it might be worth having videos that you know you're not going to be able to monetize if that's going to be something that helps you grow your channel and helps you be found? I think the media as well now it's share advertising anyhow. Like I've got yeah. one and a second later I've got an email say it's fine for you to have it, but you need to, you just need share monetization. Mm -hmm. I was like that was fine. And because I think it's you can. Yeah, I think it's it's it, with that especially you like you'll still be making at least a little bit of money off it and um the main thing with make doing covers is because you want people to find that song and then find the rest of your stuff. So it, it's more of a publicity thing than it is a money thing. Same with reaction videos, like, it's like, 
as long as they're related to your thing, and you, you're not going to get monetization for that video, but then it's they're usually short videos anyhow, so you're not really missing out on much. Mm -hmm. And then they'll click on the next one. It's, it's the best way to get them into your channel. Yeah, so, um, where a lot of creators were finding that if you go into restricted mode on um, YouTube, so basically what restricted mode is, is it's for parents who don't want their kids to oh, be, be seeing bad content. Um, they can turn restricted mode onto their accounts so that their kids can't see bad things. Um, but a lot of, especially LGBT creators, found that their videos were being placed into restricted mode when there was nothing bad in them except for the fact that they mentioned being gay or mentioned being bi. Um, and so there was kind of this really big backlash about it. Um, YouTube did eventually, like, it took them a good 48 hours, but they did eventually own up to it and say, yes, this is a problem and we're going to fix it. Um, but they've been very, they've not been very transparent about how they're going to fix it, and I think that's because they don't know how they're going to fix it. Um, uh, was yeah. there a specific video that was like, that they noticed went off, or like, was um, triggered by a certain video? Like, no, not necessarily. I, I think, I think the first thing that I saw was there was a YouTuber that one of their fans went and did it, and noticed that like, a bunch of their videos disappeared. Um, but it doesn't alert a creator, so you have to manually do it yourself. Um, so if you can check your own channel even, even sign out of your account, put YouTube into restricted mode, and then go back to your channel, and you can compare and see what videos get disappeared. Um, so that, that's out of restricted mode. Okay. So I'll show you just how many videos you have. Yeah. So all of that, and it keeps going. And then but in restricted mode, that's it. Oh wow, wait, this channel? Mine. Oh, so, okay. yeah, it goes from like oh, all wow. those to Holy crap. just that. And the thing is, as well, like my channel's like no swear and no and it like goes. Has the, anyone else um, checked my, it or noticed anyone? I've noticed that quite a few videos of mine disappeared. No swearing, nothing. Uh, the LGBT event, uh, YouTube space, that was gone. A bunch of mental health videos have been. Yeah, yeah, yeah mental health one like as well, yeah. depression one like yeah. as well. Yeah. I think when it comes to that, um, and obviously anyone can give an opinion, um, just, I think YouTube is going to take a while to figure it yeah. out. Oh, yeah, yeah. As of right now, um, there's no way to know unless you check, and there's no way to report it, no. really. Um, hopefully they'll get that out quite quickly, there's a, there's being a, able to report it. But um, It's going to be one of those ones that it'll be one of their names that changed it, and you've yeah. got it. Check the channels and go the long way. There's a petition, uh, one of the YouTubers uh, put a petition uh, to, that will actually, as many people sign it, they'll hand it to YouTube and they'll make sure it happened. Uh, I think uh, what happened on Twitter was uh, okay, a lot of LGBT creators were really, really annoyed and angry about it, but there were like pe other people who were blowing it out of proportion and um, it was like, Guys, calm down. YouTube will get back to this. And yeah, I, I, I mean, I, some I, of them YouTube YouTube party is over, and I was like, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't want to belittle someone's anger. I mean, obviously, I understand like this is people's livelihood, and I mean, I think most of us here also are hoping to make you know something in the media sector a part of our long term plan. Um, so like I understand people's anger and upset, um, and this isn't the first time obviously that YouTube hasn't been transparent. Um, I think the main thing though is like don't let it scare you. I mean remember that only 1.5% of the entire population of YouTube uses this function. Um, and even then, to be honest, it's probably not the people watching your videos. Um, so you know, I, I don't think it's something that really you should be freaking out about right now. Um, has anyone else like experienced any problems or issues or concerns about that? And I feel bad because I don't subscribe to everyone because I know that not everyone's content suits my interests. And so if I subscribe, it'll be a dead sub because I won't watch any yeah, of your videos. Exactly. And it's not like I'm saying that I don't think you have talent, it's just I know what I like. And yeah. so how do you guys treat that 
like whether or not you yeah so you look like you not. definitely mm. had something to say no I'll mm. go for it. Yeah? Okay. Um, like even if um i'm not um subscribed to some of my friends like i still can't come across their stuff because I'll be following them on social media. So a lot of the times, even if I'm not subscribed to them, even if uh, their content isn't something I'd watch every single time, I'd still watch one of their videos every now and again because I would see it like in the feed, whether it's in um, <coughs> tweets or something else. Yeah, um, I think like what you said, not subscribing to people you don't watch is actually a good thing because you will be a dead subscriber and that means that you, they will have a high number of subscribers, but they will have low engagement. Mm -hmm. So that will just literally make no sense for you know the person that you're friends with. So if it depends on your preferences, because I do the same thing. Like I cannot subscribe to absolutely everyone in LSY. Yeah. I have to subscribe to people that the content of whom I watch. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. We were having this discussion yesterday. Yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, I know that you have interesting opinions when you talk. Do you have any opinions? <laughs> 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 have interesting I've, opinions. I've, I've heard you talk. You're very eloquent when you talk. About what? <laughs> well, do you have any opinions on the dead sub subbing to everyone small YouTuber issue? Why would you subscribe to everyone? You can still like them and help them out, and if it suits, you can collaborate and help them more to get like, mm -hmm. people who really are engaged. And you can still like talk and chat and hang out and get a coffee and food, but. If you like it, subscribe. If you don't, mm -hmm. I think for no one will hate you for that. <laughs> yeah, I think for that, um, I agree with Kite actually that um, I follow most people on Twitter. Um, so yeah, even it's like yeah, personal. You can even, see what they're up to, and yeah. if they have an interesting video, you watch it. Yeah. Cool. Even if I don't subscribe to them on YouTube, um, I would hope that they're promoting their videos on their Twitter. <laughs> if they're not, uh, <laughs> so someone needs to come have a conversation with me because they should be. Um, <laughs> And I will see their video tweeted, um, and if it's something that the title looks interesting, or it looks like something I might be interested in, or if I have the time to watch it, um, I will. As well, um, I don't know that everybody is aware of this or uses this um, function, but um, on the LSY page, if you don't want to subscribe to everyone, um, obviously like that's a lot of content and nobody has time to watch literally every video. Um, if you go to the pinned playlist and just kind of scroll through and like look through and see if there's anything that's interesting to you, mm -hmm. um, then you can just watch what's interesting. Um, and that's still supporting other small creators um, and it's not making you feel like you have to sub and not making you feel like you have to like watch everything or you know stress out about being a dead sub. Um, but and also don't clog up your your feed because then that just stresses everyone out. I hate <laughs> seeing my YouTube feed and having videos that haven't been watched. It like messes up my need for the perfection and I'm like, yeah. God damn it. sometimes if I watch the video and then I look at a different tab and I'm still listening to whatever they're saying, it counts that I've stopped watching and will mm. just show the red bar like part way yeah. through and I'm like oh, yeah. Fuck you, you piece of shit. I watched this video all the way to the end. God damn it. It's frustrating for me. I don't think I'll around. Judge? Yeah. Look at much as we are all watching the videos. I'm not moved on. I was in my prime in 2007. I'm so old. I used to finish high school and you wanted to become an adult. Creatively, also, that content does help me. Um, it just does, because I, I, growing, growing up, when I was nine, listening to Yellow, the most depressive song in the world. <laughs> well, it's a big song. It's about a, 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 a yeah, skin, it's, yeah. Um, I know it by heart, but just don't. Um, being seen in live, working at Arsenal, and um, yes, I worked at Arsenal for many years, but um, yeah. I mean, well, well, what do I normally do when I, like for example, the when in September, mm -hmm. there was, since July, I didn't upload a video since July, I think, or August, and there was just no, hardly any videos on my channel, and I was only like 20, 20 plus subscribers at the time, but it was so weird that I just, creativity just comes randomly for me, it even comes at 3 in the morning sometimes, and like, yeah, I mean, but I think I think that's the thing is that sometimes um, because creativity can be you know spur of the moment, you can't control it. Sometimes we have to control it somehow. You I would can like control it if you put yourself in different situations. For example, 
If I don't feel like writing a song at home, I, we can grab my guitar and go when it's beautiful weather in the park. Or, best thing to do, grab a friend and do a songwriting session, go in the studio, do something together. And like collaboration for brainstorming and like bouncing off ideas that gets uh, you somewhere so much quicker than just like trying to think on your own. And also like putting yourself out there in like in different situations. Just go somewhere, grab a coffee instead of sitting at home and trying to yeah. think of something and then something will pop up. Mm -hmm. and I would argue that creativity is less of something that comes at random and is more of a muscle that you have to exercise. Because if you do it more frequently, then you can continue doing it. There are moments where you can have spikes of creativity, and that's when you have your best moments, like yeah. moments of light bulb moments, where you're like, this is exactly what I needed. But you can still create without that. Yeah. It's just yeah. a matter of the practice, and this is where... You know, I have tons of advice, but no uh, follow through of my own. Um, actually, no, I've been working on lots of stuff, I just haven't been making videos. That's the yeah. I've, I made a schedule, of, it keeps on changing, but since March, uh, not March, February, uh, in February, I just like, keep on changing my plans for videos and stuff. I'm like, no, I don't want to do that anymore because I don't feel that it's, it's uh, like the top 10 things. I like it, it, it's like I, you know what I'm not gonna follow Google Trends and I want to do my own thing. So three things I'm doing, which I want to do: YouTube is anonymous, which came randomly during the meetup. I have improv comedy sketch. People are interested and they want to do it. Probably will happen next week. Well, it will happen next week. I'll make sure of that. Uh, even if it's just a few of us, you just need at least ten people just to come and just film it. Not it's easy, but yeah, there's, there's a lot of people. Rocks, yeah. That's a lot of people. Mm -hmm. uh, probably it could be five people. I'm I would just, say yeah. the, you're going to get the best out of an improv sketch with three or four people max because mm -hmm. too many people start talking over each other. And yeah. I say this, mm -hmm. I worked in an improv company for a year back mm -hmm. in Canada. Yeah. So the more people you have on stage, the more that one person is going to steal the show from yeah. everyone else mm -hmm. and no one's going to have any fun. Okay. So you have to start small, build rapport mm -hmm. with the group, and then do a sketch. I think, yeah. I think the, the sketch is just going to be a random... We're going to take as many, it's going to just happen. Yeah, I mean, yeah. improv games are also really fun though. Mm. Yeah, that's like, my, <laughs> best, you are? my best My best. creative ideas have come from like ridiculous improv games. If anyone wants um, to play a ridiculous improv game, after this, it's a, a drawing one. It has thicker paper, so it has like yeah. feet. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Practice in anatomy. Oh, fair enough. And this one is uh, also black. blank, but it's cheaper paper, so it's just for like whatever notes. I've got like doodles of things and budgets and notes and notes from acting classes when I was still in university. Can I make a horrible joke? Guys, take a page out of her book. Yeah, I um, had a, fa a fabulous little meet and it was great just meeting everyone and it was kind of nice that it was smaller than how normally LSY meetups work because not that I'm complaining that it's too big but like some t but it is nice when there's just a few people because then we can talk about more whereas if there's a bigger group it's like there's so many topics that it kind of gets a bit crazy what am i going to do now so i'm probably going to get something to eat and then after i've filled my belly i'll probably head over to the meetup i'll probably head over to katie and the others hopefully they're still there if not i just enjoy taking pictures while i'm there and then from there home so that's pretty much the plan for the rest of the day Time to go. So hey guys, nice to meet you. Back here to High Grand Islington, and everyone's still here, which I was worried about. Pretty much. Hi. Yeah, Alan. <laughs> Alan. 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 Do you want to Alan. say anything? Alan. Alan. Steve. Welcome to Weeb Central. Yeah, yeah. Hi. I am beautiful, and I am. Uh, See how beautiful I, I, I am. Soul is majestic and beautiful beyond belief. Yeah. He's demonstrating and he's his flower, power. flower power. He's also so much flower power. Flower power. And this is Nikki. Mickey. Mickey. I said Mickey. I thought we said Nikki. Yes. And look at all these magical weeby children. You have to. You can pull it down. You know. Oh, I do. <laughs> look at all these beautiful weebs. Weeb, say hi. There's the musical weebs. The um, 
hipster weebs, uh, you've got the emo weebs, and you've got the super weebs. Hello. <laughs> okay, we've got number one emo weeb right here. No, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> And you got our weeb lord, Luffy. Hello! And we have Callum. Hey. And we have Morgan Freeman. <laughs> Kill him, you have, a, you have a look at Ailey. <laughs> you got two people helping you with a look at Ailey. That's real. <laughs> Are you still failing? <laughs> Stop fucking filming me. <laughs> There's so many different types of cheeses. I can probably name a few. I can probably name a few, like halloumi, brie, different types of jet. Get out! I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Fuck the show, okay? No, I'm, I'm, I'm. So this has already been fun. Took some, recorded some great stuff. Thanks for Katie for being a fabulous host. <laughs> so had a lot of fun. Didn't record that much. Yeah, I'm a very bad vlogger. Sorry about that. Oh, you're good. You're good. It'll be so hard on yourself. But yeah, like had loads of fun. Looking forward to more meetups in the future. And make sure you're subscribed to my channel for all those stuff. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. Leave all your comments down in the comment section below. That's it from me. So peace. <laughs>